Uh, I'm Charles Glossop, uh, I'm a certified snow professional. Uh, Alex and I together own Hanko Outdoor Services. Well, there's a couple of different ways. Um, we look at it uh, when we look at a contract, whether it's seasonal, if it's a seasonal contract, we'll build that into our cost of doing business because we know what the savings are. We know that we are not going to have to run over that same piece of pavement six times to get down to do a clear plow. We know that we can run over it once with the right uh, quality equipment on our wheel loaders, our plow trucks, or on our skid loaders. Um, so there's a savings right there. We know what that cost is. If we're going to go out and apply brine uh, at 23.3% from 16 degrees Fahrenheit up to 32, we're probably going to be around four and a half to five dollars a gallon. If we start adding calcium to take the utopic uh, rate of melt down to 0 0.5, 0 0.10 uh, Fahrenheit on sidewalks or pavements, we ourselves use 32% cut calcium to uh, increase the non-freeze point of the brine. You know, we're being proactive again instead of reactive. So we've already got a product out, like say we get a, a dusting or a quarter inch of snow, we have a product that's already working and we're not scrambling to try to get out to the site to get it opened up and cleared right away. Especially in rush hour conditions. We do it for, for, even if they don't ask for it because it behooves us to do that. When, when we first started using brine and pre-treating, our clients didn't necessarily know what we were doing. Mm -hmm. We would go out and do it, and then we'd show them the results. So we would show them an area where we did pre-treat, and we'd show them an area that wasn't pre-treated. Wow. And I think the important part of it is, uh, you've got a lot of DOTs, you've got a lot of counties that are doing a lot of pre-treating. So people are now used to seeing those stripes uh, through the parking lot, on the roads and the streets mm -hmm. uh, as a proactive method.